So how badly do you want to pass your PMP and CATHEM exam? In today's video, I'm here to share with you another quick tip of the day to help inspire and motivate you so you can crush and dominate your exam. Today's tip of the day is to surround yourself with the jargon of project management on a daily basis. As we all know, there are a total of 5 process groups with 10 knowledge areas, and on the PMP exam, you're expected to understand and apply these concepts in situational questions. On the CAPM exam, you need to be able to identify what each input or output is and what tools and techniques are used for each process group. So how do you learn all of this in such a short time period and be ready for your exam? Just like learning a new language, immerse yourself in the vocabulary. One trick that I like to do is that I carry with me a notebook of each of the process groups where I record quick notes that I want to memorize throughout the day. In my notebook, I also rewrite the process groups to make sure I thoroughly understand how each one works with each other. So for example, the inputs and outputs that are specific to schedule management. I also write down vocabulary and key terms into my notebook, which I have a hard time remembering so I can review it any time during lunch or during my breaks. If you can do this, you can dedicate yourself to studying at least one process group every single day. And if you do this consecutively over the course of the next two months, You'll have studied every single process group that's covered on your CAPM and PMP exam and be that much closer to achieving your goal. Remember, you got this, so don't give up. Question of the day for you. What are some techniques that you use to study for your PMP and your CAPM exam? I'd love to hear from you, so let me know by leaving a comment down below. So thank you so much for checking out today's video. If you like this quick segment, be sure to hit the like button, share this video with a friend, and subscribe for more videos like this one to help motivate and inspire you so you can pass your PMP and your CAPM exam. Until next time, it's Alvin the PM, and I'll see you in the next video.